Hello, my name is Becky Verner and I am with Joel's Place for Children. Joel's Place is a children and family grief support organization that offers non-denominational grief support groups for kids and families who have experienced the death of someone special in their lives. Sure, I'm Katie Eichenauer. I'm executive director of Believe in Dreams. Believe in Dreams is a local youth empowerment organization that serves kids that are living at or near poverty who've had non-medical trauma in their lives um, and we provide experiences for them that they otherwise wouldn't have um, that brings access, opportunity, and hope for their future. I'm Anika Smauser martinez I'm the executive director of City Fresh. And I'm Leah Feingold. I'm the program coordinator at City Fresh. City Fresh is a local food nonprofit working to transform the local food system and the food economy. So we work at both ends from growing all the way to eating and we're just trying to bridge the gap between local foods and the people who are in most need of um, really dense nutrition. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm Elise Bigley. I'm one of the co-founders for the Northeast Ohio Women's Sports Alliance. Uh, we began our work in 2018 really with the goal of collaborating between uh, women's sports organizations throughout Cleveland. Since then we've expanded to uh, mixed gender teams across Cleveland, Akron, and Youngstown and really just trying to get more adult women involved in sports. My name is Lori Murphy. I am the Executive Director of the Black Professional Association Charitable Foundation. Um, the mission of the organization is to provide opportunities to Af African American professionals um, by providing scholarship, leadership, and career development. We do that. Our project this weekend at Give Camp is to create a new page on our website that makes it easier and more attractive for donors to give us donations to fund Joel's Place so they can choose from different activities like providing a pizza dinner or arts and crafts activities all the way up to sponsoring a family and their child at Joel's Place for an entire year. So excited to be have been chosen for Give Camp. Um, our website is a little bit outdated and we are just getting kind of a facelift to our website and um, improving it, updating it, making some changes so that it's more user friendly and cleaner and just easier to use. Doing this, we are doing a web redesign. So we have kind of an old looking website and we want to modernize it and just update it a little bit so it's way more user friendly. We do sell vegetables, uh, that's part of this, so uh, we need to make that user friendly and to kind of improve our UI. Okay, great. So our organization is really getting a full website overhaul this weekend. Um, our organization is really made up of just two of us doing this in our free time, and so any help that we can get really goes a long way. And so having this collaborative effort to really take our organization to the next level and help expand awareness for our different sports uh, is really a big benefit. And this was a missing part in terms of data collection and impact sharing and mission integrity. And this project really allows us to do that in a very tactile way. So we can not eat up a lot of time administratively. And we brought in a new staff to focus on the students. We want to make sure that she's using her time efficiently, effectively, doing what she loves, working with students. And that's really the, the big point about this. That's why we're very excited about this opportunity. So I came to Give Camp as the only representative from Joel's Place, and I really didn't know what to expect. I've never been to Highland before, I've never been to Give Camp, uh, but everyone was very welcoming even before we got here on site. So I feel like the whole staff was very helpful preparing us to come with as much information as we could to really get the ball rolling. And then meeting the different people that we're working with has been really fun to introduce our mission, what it is that we do, and then see sort of the magic that they can make of showing, uh, having it show up online. Yeah, so amazing. I mean, such a talented folks here and everybody's so kind and generous and it's been it's been a great experience. I mean it's it's been great. It's very impressive what people can do in a short amount of time. Like I just before this like kind of sketching out like kind of what my vision was for the website, I was like I don't know how 
this is gonna happen in one weekend, but like sitting next to a web developer and kind of like peeking over his shoulder sometimes and seeing how much he's getting done in like 15 minutes. I'm like, oh my God, that would have taken me three years. <laughs> so far I've been very impressed with how well organized it is and really just how passionate all of the volunteers are about giving back to the community. And so that just, you know, makes us feel good and, you know, working together and, you know, work toward the same goals. Sure. And so it has overwhelmed my expectations of this week, and I'm going to tell you. Um, to see um, staff or myself, so, you know, I wonder how I can kind of roll in this room. I'm not the newest in technology in terms of my knowledge skill set, but to see folks who are, are very skilled at making people feel comfortable, walking them through the process, asking those questions, and making sure that they, that we know that our project is very, very important to them and putting their all into it. It's been actually very cool. I'm very excited.